All right. Welcome back. I coach nutrition family coming at y'all with another podcast here. So today we're going to be diving into what I like to reference as the I coach plate. You've probably referenced, you probably, or you might have heard this reference as a few different names. A lot of people have kind of adopted this model. Um, as I would argue, it's probably one of the most simplistic ways to go about your nutrition uh, when it comes to building out your meals and how to build a plate, right? And so when we think about the iCoach plate, I'm going to give you kind of the definition first, and then we'll kind of dive into all the different applications of it. So, excuse me, the iCoach plate, if you think of a plate, for those of you that are watching this year, for those of you that are listening, I'll try to do my best to, to kind of present this visual for you there through audio. But essentially, if you're looking at your plate, you're thinking to yourself, okay, quarter of my plate would be protein, quarter of my plate would be carbohydrates, and then half of my plate would be color, right? And color would be like vegetables or fruits or a combination of both. And so the iCoach plate, the idea of this is to be able to focus on building out iCoach plates with the majority of the meals that you're consuming, right? And what this does is it allows you to eat an adequate amount of protein in your day. It allows you to eat an adequate amount of fat, carbohydrates, and then also get an adequate amount of micronutrients into the diet through those vitamins and uh, through those vegetables and fruits. And so what this does is it just allows for a very simplistic approach to your nutrition, right? Instead of worrying about weighing and measuring and logging and tracking your food into an app like MyFitnessPal or Chronometer, now you can just focus on having a more simplistic approach with your nutrition and being able to focus on how you're building out your meals on a day-to-day -day basis, rather than getting into all the complexities of how many calories and how many macros are in the meals that you're consuming. And so for somebody that's, you know, eating fast food all the time, eating restaurant food all the time, you know, just, you know, maybe having just very poor nutrition and in a very reactive place with their nutrition, this is something that I've seen clients lose 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds from just alone, just with this one singular habit. And so when you start to think about kind of the, the you know, the, the transferability of this habit into your life, it's phenomenal, right? Because you can start to build your confidence very easily. As soon as you understand what an iCoach plate is, and by, you know, this, I mean, you need to understand what foods are protein, what foods are carbohydrates, what foods are fats, what foods are color, right? And once you understand what qualifies as those, then you can start to build your plates like that, no matter where you are in the world, right? And so what, I, what clients love about this is whether they're at home, whether they're at a restaurant, whether they're traveling on the road for, for work or for vacations, or regardless of honestly, wherever they are in the whole entire world, not just here in the US, um, it allows them to really have this simplistic idea, the simplistic approach to how to go about their nutrition, right? And this has been something that, you know, I prioritize myself as well, right? So nine months of the year when I'm just eating intuitively and eating at maintenance calories, um, this is really the, the idea that I adopt, right? If you've ever gone into the iCoach Nutrition family private Facebook group, in that group and, and on social media on all the different various platforms there that I post on, I'm constantly trying to build my meals out in this iCoach plate format. Right. And because I want, I want clients, I want people that follow me to be able to see how I go about building out my nutrition and, and building out my meals. And, and that way they have a whole bunch of different ideas as to what to create there for themselves as well. Right. They just have to adjust essentially the portion sizes accordingly. So with this said, quarter plate protein, quarter plate carb, half plate color. A lot of people will ask about the fat aspect of this. Just remember that you are getting fat most of the time in your protein source, right, that you're consuming. And so you'll have fat from that. You'll have fat from like your cooking oils and things like that, which wouldn't necessarily be included, you know, in this categories of these iCoach plates. But what I see time after time again with so many different clients is that most people, right, most people are not consuming an adequate amount of color in their diet. They're not consuming an adequate amount of vegetables and fruits in their diet. And so when you set this goal to try to fill up half of your plate at every single meal that you eat, let's just call it breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Well, now all of a sudden you're consuming a lot more vegetables and fruits in the diet, 
right? And as a byproduct of that, you're getting a lot more vitamins and minerals into your diet. You're getting more fiber into your diet, which helps you to feel satiated in between meals. And you're just improving the overall quality of your nutrition, right? And this is extremely important, right? Because most people, they don't get enough vegetables and fruits into the diet, uh, especially when you're, you're traveling and things like that, right? It's, it's a lot harder to, to, to come by with vegetables and fruits. And so when you're going to the restaurants and you're looking at the sides that this restaurant have, you know, being able to add vegetables or fruits or a combination of, of, of uh, these two into your meals, this is now giving you a lot more uh, quality into your nutrition. It's improving the overall quality of your nutrition, and it's getting you a lot more of these micronutrients into your diet. Um, so, you know, this is just a, a very simple hack, a very simplistic approach to your nutrition that I would challenge any of you that are, that are confused by all the different conflicting information out there, you know, it's, it's information overload, if you will, when it comes to nutrition. This is definitely a great step one for so many of y'all with, with nutrition. In fact, I would say, you know, the, the 500 people here that are in this private Facebook group um, or the, you know, the, the, the thousands of people that listen to the podcast um, or, or on the YouTube channel there. I mean, this is such a simplistic approach that, I would argue any of y'all could be able to apply it into your lifestyle and achieve a very, very high level of success with your overall nutrition. Now, what I would challenge you to do is to start to understand breaking down these categories. I would just create a list for yourself, right? If I'm making a list of proteins, what are all the proteins that I like, right? That I know how to cook, that I feel confident with cooking and I enjoy consuming. Same thing with the carbohydrates, right? Same thing with the color. And so a lot of people will get confused on some of these categories and understanding which is which, right? But just know that protein, this is going to be things like, you know, chicken and, and beef and salmon and shrimp. And, you know, for my more vegetarian based clients out there, you know, things like, um, you know, tofu and tempeh and things like that. Um, and then on the carbohydrate side, this is going to be like your rice and your bread and your potatoes and your quinoa and tortillas and things like that and then obviously the color that's easy this is the this is the half plate color so meaning your your vegetables or fruits or a combination of both um, and really what we're going to want to focus on that sometimes where some some people get tripped up is you know potatoes and corn things like that those are technically vegetables but they're a lot higher in carbohydrates so we're going to want to actually put that into the quarter plate carb source category and we're going to want to have lower carbohydrate vegetables and fruits into that half plate color, right? Things like broccoli and cauliflower, or snap peas, things like that. Um, but again, every single restaurant, when you look at the menu, for the most part, is going to have an entree section, right? And so you can pick out what entree you want to get. And then most of the time it comes with two sides. So for your sides, pick out one side being a carbohydrate source, pick out one side being color. And then now all of a sudden you're able to fill up your plate and build it out in a way where it's quarter plate protein, quarter plate carb, half plate color there. So uh, this one's very, very simple, guys. There's not a lot to it. Um, it's not meant to be complex at all, but I, wanna, I want you to think about, I, wanna, I want you to challenge yourself and ask yourself, if I think about what I ate today for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, right? How did I build out my plate, right? Did I build out my plate with these portions in mind? Did I have a quarter of my plate protein? Did I have a quarter of my plate carbohydrate? Did I have half my plate color, right? If not, what did those portions look like? Did I blink completely on one? Did I not get a protein source at all on my plate? Did I not get color at all on my plate, right? Most of the time, Americans in general, they overconsume carbohydrates, right? So instead of it being a quarter plate carb, they're filling up a third of their plate or half of their plate or three quarters of their plate with carbohydrates. And then most Americans underconsume protein and color, right? I would argue that 99% of the weight loss clients that come to me, right? Those that are, that are looking to, or they have a goal to want to lose weight or lose body fat, what they're missing, one of the biggest missing links for them is they're not eating vegetables and fruits. Right. And if they are, it's very, very, very minimal. It's definitely not half of their plate at every meal. Right. They'll be lucky if they're even getting it into every meal. That's typically not happening. Right. Honestly, they'd be lucky if they're even getting it into their day at all. Right. And this is a huge problem. If you're not consuming vegetables and fruits in your diet, you are not eating a healthy diet. You're not living a healthy lifestyle. 
And therefore, you will struggle with being able to, um, you know, improve the overall quality of your nutrition, which leads to you feeling better and looking better and performing better. Um, and also not to mention on the side of, you know, trying to lose weight and lose body fat, if you're not consuming vegetables and fruits in your diet or an adequate amount, you're also going to be low on fiber and being low on fiber is going to elicit you to have, to, it's not being satiated after your meals, not ever feeling satisfied, right? Because you're not getting that volume that we're looking for. If I was to fill up a half of my plate with vegetables and fruits at every meal for two or three meals there in the day, on average, that's only going to be about 500 calories total. Right. So you get a lot of volume, you get a lot of bulk in these vegetables and fruits for a very little amount of calories. And it's very, very high in micronutrients, meaning it's high in vitamins and minerals. And this is really what leads to you feeling really, really good and having good energy levels and good digestion right, and good sleep and not running into micro, micronutrient deficiencies that lead to a host of different health issues there that come up. Also, you know, building out iCoach plates at every meal is going to allow you to get an adequate amount of protein into your diet, which again, so many people that come to me, they are not consuming protein at every major meal. That's one of the most basic fundamental habits of, of a good overall sound nutrition program. And most people aren't doing that, right? Most people, again, are just consuming carbs and fats. They're not, they're not eating protein at every meal. They're not eating enough protein. Or my favorite, they're, they're mistaking certain foods for protein sources, meaning that they're eating nuts or seeds and thinking that's a protein source, or they're eating quinoa and thinking that that's a protein source, right? Nuts and seeds, are they do have protein in it, but they're primarily a fat source. Quinoa does have protein in it, but it's primarily a carbohydrate source. And that could go on and on and on and on. And then from a carbohydrate standpoint, getting in a quarter plate carb at every single meal Again, carbohydrates are the preferred fuel source for both your brain and for your muscles. And so you being able to get carbohydrates in at every single meal is going to be what's going to allow you to have sustained energy levels throughout the day rather than hitting these crashes there. But ultimately, the balance of protein, carbs, and color, right, the, and, and fats there as well, the balance of those four components, right, and, and the balance of what it does when you build out an iCoach plate that's what helps you to have balanced blood sugar levels and balanced insulin levels throughout the day, right? And these are just all things that help us to feel our best, to look our best, and to perform our best, right? No matter what the goal is and what you're trying to accomplish there. So whether you're trying to lose weight, whether you're trying to maintain weight, or whether you're trying to gain weight, eating iCoach plates and building your meals out like iCoach plates and transitioning this habit through into the rest of your life you know, I tell clients all the time, if this could be the only habit that I instill into you, that you take with you for the rest of your life, this would be honestly, arguably one of the best nutritional habits that you could ever adopt. So I would encourage y'all with this. Um, if you would like to have a, a free handout to kind of give you that breakdown, give you that visual of exactly what this looks like, comment below here, send me a DM, send me a message, send me an email. Uh, you have all my contact information. So feel free to ask for that. And I will send you a PDF uh, representation of what that looks like specifically with a whole food list for each one of those categories. Um, but that's the iCoach plate. That's the breakdown. That's one of the best nutritional habits that you could ever incorporate into your life. And I hope that you can start to envision this. I hope that I have you in, you know, you're, I'm, I'm in your ear, if you will, right? The next time that you go to, to eat a meal, to build out a meal, and you think to yourself, hey, how can I build an iCoach plate, right? Or if you're at home, you're going to cook. Hey, how can I build an iCoach plate? What protein do I have? What carb do I have? What color do I have? Awesome. Let's build an iCoach plate with that. Or if you're at a restaurant, hey, how can I build an iCoach plate? What protein am I, I going to get? What carb am I going to get? What color am I going to get? Right? I would challenge you, start building your meals out with I, like iCoach plates. And if you can build the majority of your meals out like iCoach plates, you'll start to reap all these benefits that I'm talking of. And you'll start to really see this kind of carry out in your own life. So guys, thanks so much for listening. Thanks for your time. Uh, let me know if you have any questions at all. And I hope you all have a great day and an even better week. Take care.